command for Lord, thank you for joining us for this Christmas Eve service. And there's several people watching online, probably 20 or so here. I'm looking at it right now. So hopefully it's a good evening. Hopefully it helps you get in the Christmas uh, mood, spirit, whatever. Uh, you know, get you ready for this time of year. It's been a long year, so I'm looking forward to this night. Let's open in a word of prayer. Father, thank you for this evening. Thank you for all those who are here. We just thank you that you are God Almighty, who sent Jesus to come to this earth, who was born in a manger, and today, uh, and tomorrow, and over the next few days, we get to celebrate that truth, and we are eternally grateful for it. In your name I pray, amen. Uh, those of you who were in here last year, you know we're going to read uh, a few scriptures, we're going to sing a few songs. Hopefully it's encouraging to you. Uh, let me read Isaiah 9, 6 for us to start off tonight. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I'm going to stand with me and let's sing a few songs. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, how we grateful, joyful and triumphant, oh God. Joy to the world, the Lord is 
Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and had come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where Christ was to be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, he summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to this king, they, they went on their way, and behold the star that they had seen, when it rose, went before them, until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down, and they worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being more than a dream not to return to hear it, they departed to their own country by another way. It's interesting. Full of grace 
and true. Well, before we pass off our candles tonight, I want to read something that I read this past week in a devotional someone gave me. I, I hope it encourages you. It says this. The Nativity is an extraordinary story. Angel choruses on one side and wise men bearing gold and frankincense and myrrh on the other. And into this grand and supernatural scene, God calls forth a group of shepherds, men with calloused hands, men who smell livestock in open fields. And in the midst of so much majesty, what do such ordinary people as shepherds have to offer? Perhaps they brought along a, a lamb or a blanket or a lantern for the stable or some food for the weary travelers. Uh, we just don't know. We're not told. But we do know this. The shepherds hasten to be present. They hurry to respond to what they have been given. They opened their hearts. They stood dumbfounded with witness to this miracle. Then they lingered. And as we prepare for Christmas, we purchase gifts for family, for friends. This author, he says, he wonders how we might follow their example. Turning my heart to hear angel voices, allowing my routines to be interrupted by the divine, gaining wisdom to lay aside all else to become and see the face of God, and finding the courage to come to Jesus just as I am. C.S. Lewis, the author of the Narnia series, he, he says this, he reminds us of the appropriateness of the shepherd's gifts. See, whatever else they may have brought to the stable, they laid it aside. They laid aside their plans, and they chose to present themselves to Emmanuel, God with us. In this busy Advent season, what does the Lord require of us? To be alert to the ways that the supernatural breaks through into my very ordinary life. To respond quickly to what I see and hear. To be no more and no less than who I truly am. And to discover to my utter astonishment that this is exactly the gift that the Lord God, the King of the universe, has been waiting for. We must lay before him what is in us, not what ought to be in us. We should pray and he'll prepare us for actions. I read that this week and I thought it was very fitting. It's not what we bring, it's not what we decide and the gifts we buy, but it's truly back to many well. God with us. If you have a candle, we're going to stand and light each other's candles tonight and sing silent night in a few moments. If you need a candle, just uh, raise your hand and we got some numbers here. We can help.